Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some really interesting stuff to go over about Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Riddler Koo has come out and I guess leaked something about the Generation 9 games, a hint I guess you would call it. So we're going to take a look at that today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for day daily Pokemon content, ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, Riddler Koo has tweeted two tweets out, uh, and this is the main one, and then this is another one that's just kind of talking about people copying him or whatever. Um, but yeah, if you don't know who Riddler Koo is, basically, uh, is somebody that knows the Chinese Riddler, who is the actual leaker. They basically just pass off all the information to Riddler Koo, who then tells everyone about it. So, they usually do, like, hints and stuff. If you weren't around for, like, the Legends of Arceus kind of leak cycle and stuff, and Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl leak cycle, basically leak, like, all of the new Pokemon, all the new forms in regards to like hints and stuff uh, and then of course all came to light when when the games dropped but yeah basically very very legit source um questionable personality but very very legit source so he says first teaser of titan so titan is the code name for pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet uh, basically pokemon games have um yeah code names and basically the gen 9 code name is titan uh so if you see the word titan anywhere anywhere or whatever it's just referencing gen 9 so it says, uh, this is the hint. So this symbol right here. Uh, Though you won't know what it is until maybe June, July, or August. We'll keep giving alms monthly. I guess that's hints or something. And then something about Centro there. Uh, and then we have people replying saying, both in Chinese and Japanese, that character means three. So we can expect temporarily third type or just three factions in general. I wonder how a third type would even work or would it be, even be balanced? Yes, it's not boosting stats or HP. So theoretically, it's more balanced. Um, but having eight times weaknesses and one eighth resistances is also quite impactful in a game sense. Hope they execute it right. Um, no idea what that even means, but it's good to see Elites again. Um, and then the word Titan makes me think Regitrio is the beta name for Gen 9 region. So yeah, basically this is, um, I, I guess it just translated, it means three or something like that. And then we have this one here where he's just basically saying, you know, what's definitely going to be interesting is all the fake people now who will inevitably be using um, like this hint in their topics and stuff. So basically all the fake people online that like create rumors and leaks or whatever um, will be now referencing this because we know this is like legit information. Um, so yeah, this was kind of a post from uh, Soul Silver Art who's, you know, he's basically just made a thread of what this potentially could be. Uh, if you don't know who Soul Silver Art is, uh, they basically just take a look at like rumors and stuff and then I guess hints and kind of put them all together in like very easily readable threads and stuff. Um, and this is what they've done with Ku's latest tweet. So they say, gonna take time to fully get uh, this, but the good news is Ku may give us teasers almost monthly. Uh, the symbol is harder to figure out as we don't have context. Most obvious in symbol translation in uh, Chinese and Japanese is number three, but words have more than one meaning in languages, so more to come. So obviously this is a reference to, uh, well, this is just the tweet that we've just gone over, and then this is just the Google Translate, so as you can see it says three. So this hint, whatever it may mean, is translated as three. So something to do with three is in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Uh, so that could be, I don't know, three legendaries, as, as someone else just said, three factions, uh, three types, could really be anything. You know, three is an interesting um, hint, that's for sure. We then have this part that says, uh, maybe that three symbol is something else completely, but if it does, it's hard to say what it could connect to. I think it's related to the new mechanic, but not types. If you read this wiki on the symbol, uh, you'll see how there could be other meanings. So yeah, this is like a wiki about like other meanings and stuff like that. So I, I personally don't have a clue what this three thing is referencing. I mean, I don't know if it is going to be three types. Three types would be a little bit too OP in my opinion. No, you know, being able to res like one eighth resistance to moves and stuff. And also there'll be like so many more immunities as well. Like all a Pokemon needs is like a ghost type or... Uh, you know, steel type, and then they're immune to fighting, normal, poison. Uh, if they're dragon, then um, then obviously they can't hit fairy types and stuff like that. Uh, so it is definitely, I think it's a little bit too overboard with three typings. I know that you can technically get three typings in games. Like I think if you use like soak on a Pokemon, then they also get like the water, not, not soak, but they, there's like a ghost type move where you can use it. It's like happy Halloween or something like that. I don't know. But basically it can add the ghost typing to a Pokemon to give them three types. But they are very, very like, those circumstances don't happen often. 
Um, so yeah, maybe a Pokemon is able to change between three types or something. That would be, I guess, a little bit better. And then they have different like stances or something maybe in regards to what this three could be. I really don't know. Um, and then we have this post here saying, I've seen other people suggest it could be a legendary trio or a new trio, um, RF trio or Unova monkeys. Might not be related to new Mons at all. Could be some kind of part three of a previous game or theme, but I have no idea how. Third version, maybe something to do with a third type. Finally, it could be something to do with Kalos. You know, we had X and Y. We were supposed to get Pokemon Z. Um, well, I guess we weren't supposed to get it. It was heavily rumored to get it because there's so much unanswered stuff about Kalos. So maybe that three could be like the third version of Kalos. Maybe. I don't even know. Uh, I'll add it to this thread, especially all your theories. But there's a small chance Q meant the Pokemon company is going to give us, uh, give us info almost monthly from June on. Maybe we won't know what three means until June, July or August. Because Q doesn't know which uh, news drop the Pokemon company uh, in those months will reveal it. To be fair, I think, you know, June, July uh, is, is kind of like a good... Um, time to get like more information and stuff. We still need to do Pokemon Home compatibility for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Pokemon Legends Arceus. Of course, we just had a big, big, big update to BDSP, which obviously gave us the the build, that, like the GS build, GTS building, um, and then of course the Arceus event. We've got the Darkrai event happening on April the first, um, and then of course we had a Legends Arceus update yesterday. It wasn't a massive one, but it was just a kind of a couple of bug patches and stuff to fix the shiny charm or whatever. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're still kind of waiting for home compatibility for those games. So we're gonna, I think we're just, at this moment in time, we're just kind of getting those games out of the way. And then once they're fully done and completed and they've got home compatibility and everything like that, we will then move on to Gen 9 and then they'll start doing like the new cycle and stuff for those games. Um, but yeah, because we still have stuff to do for the previous games, they're probably gonna wanna finish those completely until we get more stuff on um, Scarlet and Violet, but I could see BDSP and Legends Arceus being completed in the next like month or something like that. Uh, and then this is a new potential rumor leak. Like this isn't like 100% legit. Like Ku is just a random person on Twitter. It's been popping up quite a bit, getting a little bit of traction. I don't know if I believe them not uh, or not, but um, I say what they have to say. Um, so uh, they posted uh, on our slash PokeLeaks Reddit by Osmu saying new potential leak from Peace McGee. Uh, even if it's fake, it's still interesting to take a look at. So they said there are 18 Lucian regional variants. So they're saying the region name is Lucian or Luzion or something like that. Um, and there's 18 regional variants uh, in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In addition to that number, there are also three regional variants for a legendary trio. Um, so obviously this was posted on the 16th of March. And this is why I've added this in today's video, um, because I thought it might potentially be some sort of connection. Uh, but yeah, they say, so this was obviously posted before Ku's, um, you know, legit post. And they said there are th also three regional variants for a legendary trio. So maybe that um, could be um, what the the three is that Q's obviously referencing. Again, early days yet, but it could be something like that. And they say some of the new variants, Hutut, Puchiena, Vullaby, Lotad, and Roselia, they sound really promising. Um, so yeah, again, take this with a massive grain of salt. We, we don't know if this is true or not. And again, it is just some random person on the internet. Um, but again, I, I thought I'd include it in today's video just because they posted this before Ku's message and maybe that's what Ku's referencing. I really don't know. Uh, we have people here replying to it, obviously saying, at least we need official confirmation on the region name. Um, when this happens, if it matches one of the leakers, then we'll see who tells the truth and who doesn't. All the leakers so far have given us a different regional name. So yeah, I mean, if, if in the next trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet it is called like the Lucian region or whatever, then fair play. This person is obviously knowing what they're talking about because they posted this on the 16th of March and we're probably not going to get the region name for a month or two yet. Um, so yeah, if it does turn out to be the Lucian region or Luzion region or whatever, then fair play. This person obviously is a, is a leaker. Uh, yeah, it's reasonable to expect the region's name to be the next thing they reveal to us. Should be able to confirm or debunk all of these accounts and claims. Because there, there, there are loads and loads of Twitter accounts right now. I think there's like five or six that have just kind of jumped on this train. All appeared out of nowhere, giving us leaks and rumors and stuff. And they're all saying they're legit. And yeah, they are all saying like different uh, region names and stuff like that. So it is a weird one. Uh, but either way, there are all the rumors and leaks that we're going to go over today. So if you did enjoy the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Uh, subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Make sure to ring the notification bell for daily updates and stuff on stuff stuff like this you know because it's nice to talk about nice to discuss um but yeah that's everything from me have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace